Hey YouTubers, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. Testing the teacher. Years ago, well, maybe about 2010, I wrote an article about testing the teacher. It's okay to do that. Some people will think that uh, because somebody showed up at a lecture hall or is standing in front of the classroom, this person is uh, warranted with unquestionable authority about the subject they're getting ready to teach or speak about. And, and a lot of times that's true. However, it's okay to ask polite questions like, what's your experience on this topic? Where did you get your training? How do you know that these things that you're telling us right now are absolutely true? How do you know that this system works? How did you prove it? How did you test it? How did you come about it at all? These things are okay to ask the teacher. Too many times I, I see that people just unquestionably believe what somebody in the position of a teacher or authority decide to tell them. Now on a spiritual journey obviously everybody has questions and you're looking for answers. That doesn't mean that all the answers that come to you are the truth. Okay, It's, it's good. Step one, question everything. All right, I welcome it. Any good teacher is going to welcome questions, particularly about themselves and their methodology in teaching or the quality of the subject that they're teaching. As an example, so ask somebody uh, again, what authority they have to talk about it. If they're teaching shamanism, are they a shaman? Where did they get their training? Where did they serve their apprenticeship? How long was, was it? What lineage is it? And so, and how, after their apprenticeship, how did they go and actually test their knowledge to see if it was actually true and work about, or workable in the 21st century everyday life? These are all very, very important questions. Uh, when it comes into, <laughs> okay, I have a friend that's a therapist in Boca Raton, Florida, and she likes to give advice on how to uh, raise children. Although the woman has never had children, never been a stepmom, never had uh, lived with people that had kids for any length of time, and basically has zero experience in raising children. Um, another buddy of mine, he's a great guy, you know, love him like a brother, gives marital advice. Okay, he's going to tell people how to, how to have a good marriage, although he never had a real long-term relationship, never been married. I would never begin to give advice to women on being women, being mothers, uh, relationship advice, and so on. I could give limited uh, advice on fatherhood and some parenting because I have four children of my own. Had five, one died, but that's part of it. Uh, and I've been to stepdad to quite a few kids through uh, relationships. But still, yeah, I would never be an expert on it. It just doesn't come. When you're looking for the spiritual teacher um, in many, many subjects of spirituality or personal evolution, you know, <clears throat> look at the teaching environment, right? Um, yeah, there's just endless questions, you know, about it. But the bottom line is, it's okay to test the teacher. <clears throat> Here, and there's proof in the test. You know, I teach people psychic development. I create a system of divination that helps people learn that. Um, I give readings, and I'm pretty good at it. You know, that's just not my opinion, but that's 40 years of people telling me that. All right, so there's my proof about that. Uh, Geomancy, alchemy, sweat lodgers, I do pretty good at it. I have a good reputation at it. I don't see auras, nor would I ever uh, trade to or try to train people to do that. I'm just not qualified, all right? Uh, lots and lots of ceremonies, uh, all kinds of things. Channeling, mm, a little bit here and there, not an expert, and I wouldn't try to give a course on how to do it. All right? I know my limitations. Every teacher should know their limitations. One thing that does happen, I'd be, I would be training at a place or use a place at a base and uh, time, the shamanic flow would uh, pull me away from it for a while and other people come up and all of a sudden they're going to be the teachers, you know, in a place where I've worked. But that's okay, but again, even those people who I've worked with over many, many years, all right, it's okay to test them too. They're there on their own and... No different if I came in with new material, I would expect people to test me on my new material. 
if new teachers are coming in to a place uh, in order of succession after I've been there, I would expect the student body, new people, whoever, to test the people at hand. People is one of the, you deserve this. You deserve this to do this for yourself, all right? And, and you should. Again, any questions or comments, please leave them in the section and I'll try to get back with everybody as soon as possible. Till then, Shaman Huck out.